I started doing the YouTube stuff as a bit of a hobby on the side. Right. And when I started, you you could make money from it. How does it... I mean, I dare say, I mean, I, I should know, but I don't know. My social media people are going to go, why don't you know this? You should... I've been telling you this for ages. <laughs> How, I'll teach you after. <laughs> how does it work then? You, is there something? You, is there an algorithm? Is there something that works and something that doesn't work, or are you just make enough Nowadays, to be spotted? Yeah, now it's like back it when is. we first because it was very very fun and you know it became a whole lot of us. They're now you know a lot of them now want to sure. well known industry now, yeah. but they that did it, and it was asking like young kids what they want to be when they're older, and compared to what it was when we first started well, to now. You know you, you mentioned the fact that you know people want to be famous and all that kind of stuff. There's some positives and negatives that have come out of this, particularly you associate with the music industry as well. Similar sort of thing, really. Social media yeah. you know, it can have a positive and negative thing. You, you, you've you seen all that throughout your yeah, so it's, 10 it's, years of doing yeah, it. You yeah. don't know what you're getting yourself into, I guess. Like, when we first started, it wasn't... It wasn't a career. Like, there there wasn't yeah. anyone that has sort of tried and tested the route we were going and look at the A-list... Yeah. You know, Hollywood. You see it now because you know yeah. people. Are, people, you become obsessed with your phone. You know, people. Yeah. Are, you got, you know, some of them are constantly on your phone. You yeah. know, I always think you should go out and, and look at other stuff that's yeah. out there on your phone. Yeah. But yeah. you become obsessed with whether the amount of followers. But I mean, it sounds crazy. How many people have you got? And this is the great thing about this: is global. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> yeah. It was a golden age. You upload a video, and then next morning <laughs> I wake, a... you see a number on a screen. But it was when you yeah. got. That's when it sort of hit home as to, like, but incredible sort of career and, we had. And you go from that into sort of hit shows as well. I mean, we've got to talk about Strictly. Yeah. Because you're coming out of something like that, you're the first first sort of internet person but, to be yeah. involved <laughs> in, in Strictly, you know, yeah. to put an audience yeah, all together. It, it that, that embraced you as well. So yeah, it was. YouTube is, I could, you've got so many, like, analytics. With going into Strictly, The thing when was... I did it, I did it 16 years ago, to be yeah. honest, they were going, who? Yeah. Who's that? Who's yeah. that That's that geezer with the bandana on a, on a cooks on an afternoon on Ready, Just going to quickly cook. go through the sauce for this. So I've got some shallots, got some garlic, got a little bit of thyme. I'm going to take a little bit of brandy, just for this. You don't have to, but we're just going to take a little bit of brandy. Well, hopefully. I'm sit back, my hair's quite long. Yeah, so I know vines. That's going to go in there. <laughs> and then, yeah, so... This, this cider makes the most amazing sauce. You don't have to put brandy in it, but I think cider with this tastes yeah. amazing. So I've got the pork, which we just... We pan-fried, which is just leaving to rest there. I'm not going to overcook it as well. And the idea is bring this to a boil now, and I'm just going to add some cream and different types of mustard to it. The potato's cooking in, in the oven as well. But I mentioned at the, t the top of this, you're, you're a jack-of-all-trades as well, author. Yeah, yeah. How many books is this uh, one? It's which, the which... first one that's, that's non-fiction. And write... But... A amount of was, I, I set aside like a Tuesday. Comes from the fact that you you, you left London. Yes. You know, in yep. that sort of surrounded busyness of London, you've left that, and now you come out to the countryside now. Yeah, back, like one back more to my day, that sort of era, and, and just going out and then being like Battersea Park, you know, and just being in walking around Battersea Park, yeah. I sort of learned to sort of spend the online world. It's going back to me. what we were saying earlier, and it's amazing now. You actually, you know, every so often you look at your phone, and you realise how little or how much you've been on it. It's yeah. quite shocking how much people oh. rely on just this little screen in front of them now. Yeah, yeah. You, know. you get a report coming through. In their world. Week, saying, Your screen time was up by... Like, and and a lot of people, um, hopefully watching this, that know of someone who is on their phone yeah, and all... a practical guide on how to sort of... Yeah, rekindle that love with nature um, and also sort of... I'm just going to recap what you've got in here. So we've got the shots, got the garlic, got the thyme gone in there as well. Uh, a little bit of butter. Flamed it with a little bit. You can use a little bit of brandy. You don't have to. A little bit of cider, really. Double cream. Uh, a touch of stock, just a little bit of stock. You can bet this from the supermarket. And the key to it is not overcook it, of course, but the potatoes, look. I mean, these... I mean, I'm cooking in the oven behind me, but look at these. Wow. And we can grab our potatoes off here, which are lovely. These are just on there. Pork, which... The sauce is this. is so, so simple. But you see, and this pork fillet, or pork tenderloin, as they call it, it's actually really inexpensive. They're about a couple of quid each. You just take a nice little bit of this pork tenderloin, and there we have it, a dish cooked in about eight minutes. You're going to stick around. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Thank you. There you have it, pork tenderloin, wow. done.